Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to my playthrough of Cyberpunk 2077. I am Mental Fox, and I thank you for joining me again. We're in this uh, kind of like secret club. I think it's called Red Queen's Rest or something like that. We're doing this quest where we're trying to find out who... Well, I think we were trying to find out who killed the mayor, but we found out that he actually kind of died on his own here in this place. And now it's looking like uh, River's co-worker, River is a cop, his co-worker Detective Han has something to do with it in the cover-up. No new text here for us, so let's go ahead and get out of this place and uh, meet up with uh, old Detective Han. I think we just go ahead and go on out this way. I said that perhaps we would explore this place a little bit more, but it probably really makes more sense for us to just get the heck out of here. But uh, we can look around a little bit. What is that symbol? Look at that symbol. What is that thing? Oh, it's a headset we could connect to. I don't know if I've ever seen one of these just lying around on the ground. Is I think this was the room that they found the mayor's body in. Oh, this may be very interesting. Hmm, let's see what this is. Let's just go ahead and connect to some stranger's BD wreath here. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Hey, Whoa. Come on. You hear me? Breathe. Uh, oh. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I thought you couldn't come in without a warrant. I can't. Some gonks just ask to be flatlined sometimes. Yeah. Right. What was that, V? I think it's a virus. It must have killed Ryan, I guess. You ask me. One heart attack that killed Ryan. As I said from the start. But <laughs> someone spiked his BD. That's what killed him. Fuck. I think you could be right. Whoa. Come on, V. That's weird. I mean, there was no indication whatsoever that I was supposed to do that. I just did it. Strange. Come on, v. Huh. Wow. I thought we were going to get to see Ryan's last few minutes. Uh, I'm going to look around some more. I'm going to look around some more. Okay. Do what you will. Waste of time as I see it, though. I don't know, man. I found this. Okay. All right. So. Okay. That's oh. Delta. Oh, okay. I think I saw another way out on the way in. Oh, okay. All right. I guess I... Uh, I meant to just go out the door there, but I guess I accidentally uh, decided to go with him. Oh, well, whatever. It's okay. Chubby buffaloes. For all your barbecue needs. Fuck. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> hey, Detective Han. Still hanging around with this punk? Shut it, Harold. I know what you did. Not about to ask why you covered it up. Not even why you jumped into this mess to begin with. Just want to know. Who gave you the order? What's the matter, River? Why do you even care? Your conscience is clear. You can sleep tight at night. You know why? Because I took all the responsibility. You got no idea how this city works. Think a goddamn inspirational idealist bullshit actually means something? It doesn't. Never did. Hey, don't look at me that way, Merc. You know I'm right. Uh, nope. Not from here. Came from nowhere. Ah, Nomad. See, the NCPD? That's my family. That's my clan. You just don't break with your family. You don't turn your back on your people. Family comes first, or bullshit. I don't know. Yeah, family comes first. Can't argue with that. The city eats anyone who tries to go it alone. V, appreciate the help, but this isn't your biz. 
I'll take care of it. How are you gonna do that? Am I under arrest? Got a scroll, got a motive, got your confession. So yeah, you could be. But it wouldn't make much sense. You don't even gotta say who ordered you to go and clean up. I know anyway. So since even our brass's fingers are all over this, I gotta take it to internal. They won't do a thing either. Not to me. They'll put you in their sights, though. Just go home, Ward. Get some sleep. Find all this easier to take in in the morning. I mean, that's my plan. Fuck. Hmm. Everybody's dirty. Uh, what are you gonna do? He's right, sort of. Should've shot him. <laughs> what are you gonna do, man? So, what now? We'll let this go. Can't. Holt murdered Ryan. Wanted his seat. All this tritest motive in the book. That's why I believe it. Use the NCPD to cover his tracks. Hmm. Sounds about right. Got no proof. Nah, it wasn't like that. Uh... Uh, you don't really have any proof, dude. Even if that's what happened, don't have any solid proof. Got a BD that somebody spiked. Just gotta figure out who. And that, I think I can do. Taking this to internal affairs. Got enough to get this case reopened. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, um, go ahead. Do it. And you? Gonna report back to the paralysis? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna stay. Observe a little. Thanks, V. Okay, now we need to call Elizabeth Perales. Very foggy over here. There's just something about this place that's really neat. I mean, it's got this <laughs> road that is way up there. Going over top. Old chubby buffaloes here. And then we're right here on the water. In a way, it's too bad that it's so foggy because I really can't see anything. But on the other hand, it actually... It's actually kind of cool. Kind of really sets a mood. It sets a tone. Very cool. There's this Thornton. That, um... We cannot take. Can't take that vehicle. Nope. Can't do it. The heck's going on over here? So we're supposed to just simply call Elizabeth Perales. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. So, about Ryan, got a pretty good idea what happened. Great. Come by, please. It's a sensitive matter. I'd rather discuss it face to face. We'll be waiting. Okay, go to their apartments. Their apartments, probably nowhere near here. It's actually one and a half kilometers in that direction. Let's see if, uh,. River has anything he wants to say, any parting words. Eh, it doesn't look like it. Alright, well, let us uh, summon a vehicle and go on over to the apartment of the Paralyses. And as usual, we're just going to go ahead and summon a motorcycle. Although I am tempted to take something else just for fun. I don't know, let's drive this Caliburn, man. We're in the city. We'll drive the Caliburn through the city on this rainy day. I'm sure the tires on this thing will be great in the rain. If I can figure out how to get in it. There we go. Okay, let's go for a ride. Oh. Oh, weird. Look at that road there. Absolutely out of line. Look at this. <laughs> Let's see where this goes. <laughs> Let's see, this thing's under construction. Probably gonna end up dropping off a ledge. Well, the dotted line seems to have picked up okay. Oh. Oh, for a minute there, I thought we ran out of road. Well, there's no other traffic on this road, which is kind of cool. Okay, it's telling me to go this way now. Uh, 
187, 190. 201. Still picking up speed. Ooh, 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 we are moving. Looks like this is about its top speed. I saw 207. Man, it's like our own private highway. That was cool. Whoa. No. Oh. oh, no. Oh, no. Big old concrete barriers here. Let's see if we can get out by going on the sidewalk over here. Yeah, I think we can be able to get out of here. That was like our own private highway, man. That was cool. It's too bad we beat up our cool car, but that's okay. It'll be fixed by the time we get it again. I love that the dotted line, the pathing still worked, even though we were on that closed off road. That was cool. Not a lot of traffic out today. Okay, looks like a uh, nice little parking spot for us right here. That I obviously have trouble parking in. There, let's just see if we can't park here. There we go. Okay. Hop out. And go to their apartment. So when we met with them, we didn't meet with them in their apartment. We met with them elsewhere, so this is our first time here. Thanks. They're just upstairs, you know. There's a downstairs and there's an upstairs. I don't think I've seen that advertisement before. That's kind of cool. Oh, what? That's supposed to be. Oh, okay. A couple. Oh, it's like three faces kissing. You see that? Interesting. Penthouse Suites. Gonna tell you one thing. What's that, Johnny? What's that? I'm listening. Don't tell him nothing. Don't get involved. This muck is deeper than you think. Suck you in if you're not careful. Johnny. They won't pay me if I don't tell them something. If I don't give them something, they're not gonna pay me. We'll manage without that. There's no sense in which you gotta eat. Fine, do whatever the fuck you want. Not like you listen anyway. <laughs> we never listen to Johnny. <laughs> Johnny's cracking me up. Hello, V. Hello. Please come in. Make yourself at home. Jefferson will join us shortly. Jefferson, huh? Okay. Hey, look, a camera. Oh, but I can't I can't take it over. Really? Huh. Oh, I wanted to kind of look around their place. What is this business? It's weird. Why is the lighting so bizarre in here? Elizabeth Perales. Another surveillance camera. Actions technical ability 10. Not sure what that does for me. Notice that here uh, we have some messages that I haven't looked at yet. Here is one from uh, Dino Dinovic. We have four from Lizzy Wizzy and one from Padre. The top one and the bottom one are probably just cars for sale, but... Uh, Oh, Lizzy Wizzy, what does she want? Uh, let's see here. Lizzy Wizzy says, Our little adventure was actually very inspirational. I put out my first BD today. Thanks, couldn't have done it without you. And then I say, uh, what? It'll be all over the airwaves. Keep an eye out. Okay. And then we've got a heart here. Thank you, glad I could help. You need to be careful, okay, or I'm worried about you. Uh, I am worried about her. Let's see what she says. If anything. She doesn't care about the job. I'm counting on your discretion. Piece. So those were messages from her that I just never really noticed before. Dino Dinovic, uh, he says cars for sale. So he's got a Caliburn for sale. And, uh, which is what we were just driving, isn't it? And then uh, we also have a message from Padre. Uh, oh, job for the nomads? Oh, interesting. Okay, I'm not going to read that now. We'll, we'll try to remember that. That job. 
Oh, beautiful piece of music. One of my favorites. I'm not even kidding. Oh, yeah. It, it, it literally gives me chills. It is just such a beautiful piece of music. Got surveillance cameras all over this place. I don't like the lighting in here. I guess it looks like this because it's so gray and foggy outside. Got a jacket hanging on this chair here. Some air freshener there, I guess. Here is, um... Well, I have to get around behind the bar to read it. Chronicles of Titania, book one. Can't go in there. Got it all blocked off. <laughs> I wonder if this is like some kind of art or if it's like a screw up in the game. You know? You never know with this game. So I don't know if that's supposed to look like that. <laughs> or if it's a glitch. I don't know. Please, have a seat. She's very patient with us as we just look around her apartment. Vote for Perales. A no-holds-barred candidate with an entrepreneurial flair. What am I fighting for? An end to mega-corporate influence on nice city politics. Naysayers be damned, we can do it. All I need is a token of your support to run a campaign without corporate funding. Together, we can win these elections. If I win, you win. What do you get in return? A truly independent city. An end to mega-corporate rule. An end to making decisions that affects this city and its people from behind the mahogany desks of board members that have never set foot on the streets of Watson or Pacifica. Equal opportunities for everyone and access to education. During my first year in office, I pledged to create 20 full and 30 partial scholarships with the eventual aim of funding the educations of the 200 most gifted students every year. I like it. You got my vote. So we're supposed to have a seat. But <laughs> I can look around some more. <laughs> I don't know if I have the opportunity to look around after we talk. Lots of alcohol. I don't know why you need that much. Oh. Shall we? Oh man, I can't go out there. Fine, we shall. I'll have a seat. But this view... Oh, I can't go out there at all. All right, let's have a seat. Thank you. Good to see you, V. Elizabeth tells me you have answers for us. I'm all ears. Oh, uh, let's see. Got a decent picture of what went down or... Can't draw any real conclusions. Um, I don't think we could draw any conclusions. Case is pretty complex. Leaves a lot of questions unanswered. I'd rather not draw any conclusions yet. But you must have an opinion. Jeff, honey, read between the lines. The case is complicated, but dying at home of a cardiac malfunction, that's not complicated. So we were right? Yes. Oh. And that's enough for me. We have to be careful. Very careful, Jeff. That's what V's trying to tell us. Thanks for your help, V. Your fee. Uh-huh. Uh, glad I could help or watch out for each other. Well, I don't know. Watch out for each other. You two watch out for each other. Weird. Okay. Boy, she made quite an assumption, didn't she? Whoa, we got a lot of... A lot of eddies for that. Leave the building. Hey there. Oh, wow. It's nice and sunny outside now. now. Where did we leave off? He, he's running this campaign on, hey, I'm one of you. Be I've careful. walked the streets Please. of Watson and Pacifica, but look where he lives. Up here, literally in the clouds. Right. We'll return to this later. Oh, man. Can't I look around his place? Oh, she has something. Are you still there? City Hall. They're very busy, important to people. No, no, no. Jeff was a council person until very recently. 
He has just as much of a right to use that space as Rhyme. Oh, excuse me. Get it done today. We are not pushovers. We are not going away. The conference will be at City Hall. You helped us, V. Thank you. But we'll call if we need anything. Huh. Okay. Wow. Boy, she... She really made quite the assumption based upon what we said, but, um... You know, we kind of... We kind of said what... We did what Johnny wanted. Johnny didn't want us to get involved. Johnny didn't want us to tell him anything. But, um... I will say that I'm a little... A little concerned that I've maybe missed out on something? I don't know. I really don't know. Um, and unfortunately these doors seem to have remained locked, so... We, uh... We can't go exploring. I want to go exploring, doggone it. Okay, well... <laughs> so strange. I mean, I don't really understand social interaction generally anyway. It's just not something I've ever been comfortable with. Social interactions in general, and especially something like this. I mean, these people may as well be from a different planet. And... And I know it's a video game, right? It's not real life, but, you know, <laughs> it just seems so strange to me. They're like, oh, come on in, we'll have a talk. And then we have a talk, and then they're like, okay, well, thanks, bye. And then they just, even though I'm in their house, they're just like, going about their business. Is that normal? I don't think it's normal. It's a video game. But, uh, what a view... That's uh, just a beautiful piece of music. Love that. Well, I guess we'll get the heck out of here. I'm gonna turn this off. Just, just for the engineering points. They don't care. I mean, I come here and turn this one off too. There. <laughs> just give me, just give me some engineering points. Why not? Can't go in there. It's interesting to me though that uh, our mini map does have. A map of this floor, this place, uh, even though we cannot uh, freely explore it. Well, let's leave the building and see what happens. There's got to be more to this, right? Unless I screwed up and made the wrong choice there. I don't know, man. I'm just trying to play the game the way I think I would play it if I, if I were playing it. Wait a minute, I am playing it. I mean, if I were living it. Yeah, that's it. I don't know, I was trying to be a little vague there because, I mean, V really doesn't know what happens. happened. He really doesn't know for sure. Locked door. Oh, okay. Alright, we're gonna leave the building. And that's the end of that. That's the end of I Fought the Law. Huh, okay. Well, I have to think that River's going to contact us later at some point, maybe. Maybe? I don't know, man. I don't know. Let's see here. Uh, we'll go down here to completed quests. I fought the law. That's it. No new text. No new text. So, uh, here we've got this thing. We're at 30%. Um... How can I further this along? And then we've got this one over here down to the wire. Your in clock is showing that the final hour is nigh. If you want to live, you need to find a way into Arasaka Tower, connect to Mikoshi, and get rid of the biochip along with Johnny Silverhand. So as far as our quests go, I don't know. I mean, obviously this one is our main quest. We've got Blistering Love. Okay. So, okay, this is the this is the one we were doing a, like a, a favor for Johnny. It says, can't even remember why Rogue and I were always at each other's throats. All I remember is the good times and how few of them there were. Now I've got one night to make it up to her. Yeah, a movie date sounds boring, but hell, we never did normal boring things. Better late than never, right? Oh, we're calling Rogue. Johnny wants to ask you out on a date. What do you think? Johnny's asking? Or is it you? Johnny, you're the one who said you got no trouble telling us apart. Okay. And where'd we go? Where'd you want to go? 
Silver Pixel Cloud in North Oak. Okay. I'll swing by the afterlife. Pick you up. Okay, let's go pick her up in our beat-up car. Go pick up Rogue at the afterlife in the evening. Oh, gosh, it's 7 to 6 a.m. Forgot to tell you, swing by in the evening. I've got other things on my plate right now. Okay, it's evening then. Okay, there you go. Till then. Oh, man, it's 7 o'clock in the morning. Ooh, our health is not in a great spot right now, so let's go to bring up our, our backpack, and uh, we'll just chow down on some food. And our health will be back up to normal in no time. So, now we need to figure out how to uh, waste our time while we wait to go pick up Rogue in the afterlife in the evening. Uh, so, in the meantime, I, I guess we do some kind of questy thing. Uh, we'll go ahead and look at our map here and see if there's anything nearby. Uh, here's a car for sale. Um, car for sale, an unknown thing over here. So, oh, and then a reported crime. I don't know, let's go to this unknown thing over here, see what is up with that. It's still a badass looking car though. All right, let's hop in. Turn my turn signal on if I had one. different part of the city. I don't know if I've been here or not. Alright, whatever it is we're here for is right around this corner. Oh, is it down here? In this parking garage? Interesting. Oh, okay. Alright, we don't want those people to be peeping us, so we're gonna just turn around here and get out of here. We'll walk down here. Besides, when we get out of this car, we'll probably get a phone call telling us what's up. Yeah, here it is. Rogue of all people. Hey, got a client. Well, actually, it's just Nancy's son who's looking to get back something that was stolen. And, yeah, that Nancy. The one who punched keys in Samurai. Oh, one more thing. If you could recover this gong's wheels too, that'd be real nice. So, you in? If so, find the details attached. Yeah, I'm in. Alright, Rogue. Search and recover. Objective, rare bootleg Samurai recording. Location, parking lot on Crockett Street. Here's the details. There's this old saying, if it wasn't for fools, there would be no sages. The same is true for fixers. The fool who needs your help is a man named Dan. Dan has a gambling problem. Lately, he managed to lose his car in a game of cards. To tell you the truth, the ride's no great loss or anything. This guy isn't short on cars. What was valuable, however, was the one-of-a-kind bootleg samurai recorded, a recording stowed in the trunk. How did our fool come in? To possession of it, you ask? Well, he's Nancy's son. The same Nancy who played keyboard for the band in the days when that snot-nosed boy used to call me Auntie. You'll get that album for me. Gut tells me they haven't pawned it off just yet. It's probably still stashed somewhere around the place. And if you can swing it, grab Dan's car too for a little bonus. I'll snap you the coordinates of the guy holding the goods and be aware. He licks the boots of the 6th Street gang, so expect to deal with another fool. A stubborn one. Okay, I can do that. Cool. Now it says go to the parking lot. Alright, let's start crouching and uh, being all sneaky sneaky. And, um, man. Is every place a dump in Night City? I mean, it didn't look like that bad of a place from the outside. Okay, we got a camera over here, and we've already been spotted. Camera. 
We're going to uh, take control of it. Let's look around here a little bit. We've got, uh, I guess it's a 6th Street, Street dude right here. Sarge. We've got another camera over there. The bootleg is over there. Wow, a bunch of dudes down here. Holy moly. All these guys are Sarges. Oh, not this guy. Elaine Simuiz. I guess she's just a, a, a Night City resident, right? Nope, she's with Sixth Street Gang. I thought I saw somebody who was just a resident. Uh, Lieutenant. Uh, there's somebody over there. Oh my gosh. There's a lot of people down here, man. Next camera, please. Ooh, look at that cool car. Is that the car we're swiping? I keep that one for myself. Oh, we got this person here. Very hard to see. Wyatt Alkin. It's a Rayfield. Boasts a rip-roaring engine, making it the most powerful street-legal car allowed on Night City roads. Perhaps the best looking, too. I hope that's the car we're taking, because it's badass. Got a couple more peeps in here. This is one of the more heavily populated areas I've tried to break into. We may have to get dirty. There's no bonus that I noticed of being a ghost. So we may just have to come in here and just maybe I just whip out my gun and just start shooting. You know? Through walls. Golly, there's even more dudes over there. This is craziness. So many cameras. Yeah, this place is heavily monitored. Well, <laughs> I'm not even sure how I'm going to go about this. Camera. It's, uh, since these cameras all point at each other, we'll just turn them off from here. Another one over there. Turn that one off. Uh, I turned off some of them. There's another one over there. Like around the corner, but I don't think I could get to it from here. Okay, what the hell am I gonna do? Find the bootleg re leg recording, it's over in that direction. This camera is still on. Turn it off. Gosh, man. How the hell am I supposed to do this? Yeah, I'm thinking I might just have to get nasty in here. Just like, start shooting them through walls and... Taking them out that way. A weapon vending machine? Just looking to see if there's any other cameras that I haven't turned off yet. Well, maybe there is, maybe there isn't. Gosh. So many of these dudes. A little disappointed, though. I was kind of hoping that we were going to get to go up into an apartment. But no, nope, we're just going to hang out here in this parking garage. That's okay. Um, damn. There's no way I'm going to be able to sneak in here and take these guys out quietly. This time. Why is this in slot one? This isn't supposed to be in slot one. Where is my good weapon? Overwatch. There we go. And then here I've got Widowmaker, and here I've got Plan B, which I think is muffled. 
How can I tell? No, it doesn't... Well, it does have one, uh... mod attached to it. There, there it is. It says silencer down at the bottom center there. I, I don't really know how else to do this, so we're just going to get messy here because uh, it might be fun. Whoa, nobody even knows. Well, now they know. Look at them all moving around. This is hilarious. Look at them all with their little hats on. No, no, no! Not how we fucking play. Oh, it's not? <laughs> it's not even fair. What'd he say? I'm not sure what he said. My goodness. And, and we're not actually killing any of them. Don't ask me how any of this works, but I've got this ability that somehow incapacitates them without killing them. Cold blood. I don't know why this guy still shows up in red and these guys are all in blue. Don't have an answer for that. Damn. That's not even fair. Holy moly. Well, now we're free to explore as we wish. Unless there's some peeps in here that uh, I didn't mark before. All right, in we go. Yeah, I really wonder why that guy's in red, but the other ones are in blue. What does that mean? Well, let's go ahead and just help ourselves to all of their stuff. Right? I mean, I don't see any reason why not. Boy, look at this guy all bent over backwards. I mean, I'll even take the junk off of them. We'll sell it. Stupid 6th Street gang. What's this little place? I'm not strong enough to force it open, but there may be another way in. Um, we just may simply not be strong enough to get in there. Let's see. Let's try this. Oh, man. Why can't I jump in there? I mean, that's what that's for, right? So that I could jump in there? I mean, it's, it's nothing story related. I just want to see it. Can I break this glass? I can. There we go. That's a, that's a way to solve a problem right there. Uh, so we got a max dock. We've got a decaf thing going on here. Let's look at the computer. Well, let's jack in here. Let's just get a little bit of a little bit of money while we're here, right? Why not? These guys are inconveniencing me so. And then, oh man, I w I totally went the wrong way on this one. Let's see, five five. Five five BD five five. Get ourselves some eddies. Let's see what's going on in here. Go ahead and uh, just turn off everything. Rides for sale. Here's a bunch of rides that are for sale. Okay. One message. Implants for cheap, cheap, cheap. All kinds of ammo and grenades in here. Man, I tell you, just using that weapon to take everybody out, it's kind of, it's kind of tempting to use it all the time, right? I mean, look how easy this was, and look how quick it was, and we don't even have the, the guilty conscience because they're not dead, right? I mean, it's a game changer. The only reason now that we would come in and try to sneak up behind everybody is if we get a bonus for being a ghost. Right? Ooh, here's an ar archive conversation between Wyatt and Bobby. Wyatt, yo, 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 chooms! Got a sweet new ride. Need it pimped out and sold off quick. So get your gear ready. 
Bobby says, we gonna have to wipe the numbers? Nah, it's all legit. Won the thing playing cards off some gonk. Be there in an hour. Tell you the whole thing. Later. Yeah, there's some cool cars in here, man. Oh man, we could get in all of them. Get in all of them too. That may be where we try. We almost drove in before, but we stopped because peeps saw us. All right. There was something else right here on the ground. The unification war for gonks. Pretty sure we already read that. Oh, 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 look at that car. Huh, that's an interesting looking weapon. Limited edition hunter cap. Archive conversation between Wyatt and El Capitan. Hmm. Wyatt. Hey, Cap, how's life? Not your fucking biz. What do you want? Got a ride to sell. Quadra, great condition, low miles, crash free. Mm-hmm. Not interested. Hey, you don't even know what I'm asking for it. Even free is too rich for me. You're a loser, Wyatt. I don't do biz with losers. User El Capitan has blocked you. Oh my. The ultimate diss. I don't know why I keep hearing this sound. It's that sound. What's up with that? It's another strange sound effect following me around. Okay. Whatever we've come here for is in here. But first, more looting. We may never run out of ammo. Another computer here. Probably nothing new on it. Oh, there are two messages. Order number 1242998 from Crazy Car Corner to Wyatt Alkin. Dear Sir, your order is ready for shipment. It includes alloy wheel set 18 inches, LED skirts 6 feet, rubber coating spray times 4, vinyl wrap chrome, iCar cooling fan times 5, ebony diamond grill. Estimated delivery time is 48 hours. Thank you for your business, Crazy Car Corner. Porno BD. What do you got? Tactical vest. Another Ajax. Uh, let's retrieve the bootleg recording like we were supposed to do. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff in here. Second conflict flight jacket. Car keys. Bootleg shard. And Johnny's shoes. Blew my vocal cords out so hard I couldn't speak for a week. Wow, man. That must have been fun to watch. What, the gig? No, you're not speaking for an entire week. Okay. Uh, retrieve Dan's car, optional. Why on earth would we not retrieve the car? So we picked up Johnny's shoes? Is that right? Is that what we picked up? Uh... I mean, I don't know... Reinforced office shoes. They're legendary, don't you know? Steel toes, biker boots, work boots, military boots, punk fleets. So, oh, there's Johnny's shoes. That's it, man. Oh, they're actually not bad. Oh, to spend the days in the shoes of a legend. Let's put them on. There. Now we're wearing Johnny's shoes. Why not? Why not? All right. See what else is in here, and then we'll take this car for a ride. Thornton Donor's manual. Got some components. Another Mac stock. This is a badass looking car. Um. Hold on a second, buddy. Here. Here, let me pick you up. Okay, I don't wanna I don't wanna ride over you on my way out of here. There. Flop. 
Now he's got a concussion. It looks like we got a straight shot out of here without any worry of driving over anyone. Yeah, man, let's take this car for a ride. I mean, this is just a caliber and just like what we have, but this is not, the paint job looks cooler. Could it be any brighter? Alright. Deliver the car to Dan. Oh man, I want the car, but it's Dan's car. Oh, Wakako. Huh. That's another car for sale. Can I look up here? There we go. What the hell? Hold on a minute. I guess she's got a lot of messages to us. Uh, v, I have a great deal for you. A Rayfield Arendite Guinevere. Look at that car. It belonged to the ambassador of Argentina, that is, until the country returned to martial law, and the only thing waiting for him there was a noose. So he sold everything he could and fled the city. He didn't try to bargain with me, the sign of a smart man. I too would be smart if I were you, and get your cash ready, because this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. The world ain't exactly teeming with these beauties. Everyone wants to be unique, stand out, be noticed. I know you do too. Arendite can make that happen. That's a pretty good sales pitch, I'll tell you that. Alright. We are supposed to return this car to Dan. We will do that in the next episode because that is where this one ends. As always, I thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys have a good time. If you did, why don't you let me know? Leave me a like or a comment. If you're not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe. Click the bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a video. And if you'd like to support what I do here, I have a Patreon. There's a link to that Patreon Hello, somewhere on the screen. Thank you for tuning in. It's time for the local news. It's time for the local news. Time for me to end this episode. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Schmidt, See you next time. known as the Watson Butcher, is scheduled to take place tomorrow. The 27-year-old confessed to the murder of 21 people, including his own sister and mother. His execution will be open to the public, and for those who prefer to watch from home, it will be live-streamed at the address you see at the bottom of your screen. This event's organizer, Capital Corrections Incorporated, promises a compelling spectacle as well as attractive prizes for a few lucky viewers.